Okay, let's get started and um whoa, what in tarnations is that's really big. Okay. Okay, I I get the picture. I think it's I think it's trying to show off it's a very big uh, mechanic schlong and um yeah what in tarnations what why is it protruded out like that okay that that makes a lot of sense okay I, I guess it, it, it's the uh, the big D inner energy yeah the the big D energy for sure and um, this is XL or known as gimme your bonsai and um, yeah we are going through this uh, Methus Kai with its a uh, very big uh, thick weaponry and um, yeah sometimes you just you start slamming into dudes all the time with that in, in combat I, I don't know how that is necessary but okay now this is the Methus Kai, and the Methus Kai is a support. And um, there is also another variant of the Methus Heavy, and the Methus Heavy is um, one of those bullet suits that just oof. It, it's one of those really nice supreme supreme generals. It, it does its work, you know. It, it won't fail you. For this mobile suit, it's just wild, you know what I mean? It's real nice, it's real big, it's real thick. Juicy, juicy shots that this bad boy can just pop in, you know, in rapid succession. And every single time when I'm using this mobile suit, I was just like, whoa, this is just... This shoots pretty damn rapidly. And, um, yeah, there are some problems with this mobile suit that I will be pointing out but a um, majority of the moments when I'm using this thing man it's just freaking awesome I love this thing and apparently I I, I don't know why this mobile suit doesn't look green but I guess the shine of this mobile suit is just I don't know man Now this bad boy can just do um, pretty damn good, good qualities and good engagements with the whole plethora of certain type of, you know, things that this mobile suit basically has. Right there, the O kind of um, shot me surprisingly on the side, but oh well. And um, you know, when you're using this mobile suit, this mobile suit is pretty good in the ground and it's pretty good in um, space. And um, space is just much more preferable and um, you know you you gotta use those tactics and when I mean those tactics you gotta you gotta bust those French French moments when you know your whole team gets a uh, uh, sabotaged and um, you just have to transform because you you got a whole enemy team trying to chase you and you have to run away and um, you know it's a good tactic in, in, in certain in certain moments and um yeah it's just this bad boy is a uh, pretty heavy and um, when I mean heavy it's just um it, it's got this really nice heavy boost that um a lot of these uh supports rarely have but this mobile suit's got you know sufficient enough boost to you know maneuver and um, bait some nice juicy shots from a dude making mistakes and you know that's what I love about this mobile suit and you know just just to top it off you know with the little cherry on top the good old fashioned uh, shaky beam rifle it's just wow it just it's just pretty damn aggressive and um, as you can see I'm messing up a lot of my shots I'm literally shooting a lot of these objects and um, you know I believe if you basically take the time using this mobile suit you can get to a really really nice ranking with this with this bad boy and um, you know I was able to pull this on release date and it was pretty damn lucky pull you know it was just one of those one pulls and you know sometimes those one pulls you know just 
just, you know, it feels so good, man. It feels so good. I like it. And, um, yeah. It's a very, very nice, uh, aggressive support. It does what it's supposed to do. It, it kind of sticks, you know, kind of sticks with the whole sort of, uh, scenario with chilling with your your generals and whatnot right over here I was trying to get this uh, melee off of this guy and um, he was trying to get right behind our dude <laughs> and um, he was trying to hijack that mobile suit and I was like no 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 I ain't having that you know I'm not gonna give him any you know filthy juicy points now um when you're using this thing it just comes beam after beam after beam after beam it, it kind of reminds me of a uh, like that sort of mobile suit that the Nemo 3 is so like you know how the Nemo beam has its cannon and then it's got its a uh, gem rifle it's kind of like that on this mobile suit but um you know it doesn't have any sort of machine gun so certain moments you're gonna be like oh man i am literally trying to reload in certain moments when i'm trying to uh, finish off a dude and um yeah there's just many many moments when i'm just using this uh met this guy and just yo it's it does its work you know i i don't have any problems with this whatsoever but you know it just feels like maybe it's because it's a new mobile suit and not too many people have it you know at the very start and um you know it's just when you get a new mobile suit players just tend to take advantage off of it because you know not too many players know how a lot of uh, new mobile suits work when it comes out of the shop now I was trying to reload my cannon that guy was able to you know stop me I was getting attacked by a raid I was trying to keep my you know effective distance and you know the turn rate of this mobile suit is just very very effective I was able to evade that whole really bad scenario with this uh Methus Kai and you know when you're using the Kai's man you just you gotta come in there with the Kai you know you gotta come with there with the Kai mentality and that that's the cool thing about these Kai's you know the, them Kai's kinda remind me of those uh those really really nice type of thing that you, you just want man you just always want right over here getting staggered in this really bad uh scenario and this is one of those uh problems when you don't have a weapon to completely reload but i was able to do a nice finisher off that dude because i had my whole mobile suit ready prepped ready for action now um when you're using this mobile suit i highly recommend um to do like two things either you know add range boost a lot of range boost or reload so make sure when you add the reload you can add a bunch of reload so you can add like a like level one level two level three reload I think and um, you can slap it on this mobile suit and the reload just pumps up the the beam rifle just nice and quick and um, when it reloads this beam rifle nice and quick you can go over and over again with um, attacking and um, you know I didn't have my uh, my reloads stocked up in all these videos so I imagine how much more faster this gun would reload which you know that's some um, pretty damn naughty stuff with this thing but yeah, this uh, beam rifle kind of reminds me of the Hayaku Shiki's beam rifle because it's like a weapon that's like a nice instant stagger. I just love weapons that are instant staggers. Um, the fully charged weapon on this, like just a regular nice single shot is, you know, capable of staggering a dude. Now when you fully charge this thing, oh man, that's when that's when it goes real nice you know that's when it comes into the really high factor and what I mean the high factor the high mega cannon 
you gotta be high up there when you're using this thing. Going over here, trying to chase after this uh, guy over here. And, um, you know, the beam rifle and the high beam cannon, it's just pretty damn nice stuff when you're trying to get dudes from uh, ranges from far away. Trying to aim at that raid, want to get that raid's HP as low as I can as possible. Because the more low that HP goes down, the more I have of a chance to go after the generals right there that was one of the enemy supports and um, you know there are some moments I'm gonna be mentioning about this uh, mobile suit that's just you know I just I just man I, 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 don't, I don't understand it you know I don't understand why I didn't it have a little bit more man so oh well going in for a nice melee and um, you know, I was just really, really aggressive with this mobile suit's melee. And um, you know, the melee is good enough to you know jump in and jump out with this thing. Sometimes you can actually go for a nice uh, transformation, and then after a transformation, you can go for a heavy melee, which is really nice stuff. Going after that uh, O over there. Perfect, perfect uh, target for this mobile suit. The O is very frustrated. Was able to snapshot that O. And um, yeah, it's just there are those moments. It's just when everybody has their shots literally on the dot. Damn, this thing can be very, very furious. And when I mean very furious, it's just you know enemy team members can't can't stand a chance against this mobile suit because of the relentless speed of the reload of this mobile suit is just it's very good it's literally good and um, you know a lot of these videos I did not put any reloads I did not put any reloads on this mobile suit and um like um it was just so hard waiting for a match that was a 600 or a 650 and majority of these videos that I'm showing you these are majority all these are just 650 matches and this most doesn't belong in um 650 but um you know if you're good enough of a pilot you can literally drop this into a 6 uh 650 match and um, there are two variants of this. There's a 600 and a 650, and I believe that um, they're gonna have a lot of uh, really, really epic mobile suits around the 700 uh, cost, which I I cannot wait for that to actually come out. I'm trying to wait for a nice, beautiful shot, and um, when you do one of those uh, heavy, you know, high beam cannons yikes dude. it's just very 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 painful for dudes to go up against right over here I wanted to retreat because I knew that there was a raid trying to go after me I was trying to retreat again and um you know I'm, I'm like a failure in the making when it comes to retreating with this mole suit and the uh, dude was able to slip a nice shot through a section where I did not see that coming and yeah that Zeta plus uh, C1 my god I cannot wait till I literally boost up my my raking to get that mobile suit and man oh man it's going to be a heavy grind to get that mobile suit but man that's like one of the ones that I have I have the SRE and the FAS, so you know, I ain't complaining. I'm, I'm happy with those two. It does, it does some pretty nice, effective work in a lot of these uh, moments. Uh, 
do I consider this mole suit broken? Uh, not really. It isn't that much broken. But, um, it can be broken if you can literally land your shots like 100% of the time. And if you land your shots 100% of the time, that's, that's what it can, you know, cause problems with dudes. Right there, you know, one, one shot with that high beam gun was able to do almost like around 4,000 to 5,000 damage for generals. Which, you know, that's, that's saying a lot, you know, for a simple sort of a attack like that but you know that's that's kind of a problem and you know one of the problems is is that you know when you're using the high mega cannon you have to sit in one position and when you sit in one position that's when you can actually land your really nice effective shots going after the ace doing heavy staggers over and over again trying to do the flashbang and um when you when you use the flashbang it's um advised to throw it in front of a enemy opponent right in front of their mobile suit right at them or right beside them and they can actually get uh blinded by the flash with this uh mobile suit and um using a flashbang in space is a uh, it's really hard stuff you know it's not an easy feat to do and um, you know I just have to come in there with the gotta come in there with a big thick robot yeah the thing that's protruding out of its waist and I feel like man this this mobile suit is just literally streaking streaking around in this this Gundam game and um, I'm just doing a a victory swirl, uh, going around in circles with this uh, mobile suit. And um, you know, sometimes high tier players just literally don't see this mobile suit coming. And um, what I mean, they don't see it coming. It's just the the rapid 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 uh um stagger type of momentum like the the nemo 3 and the nemo 3 is just man dude really really nice exactly like a nemo 3 but just even better like it's 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 slightly better but you know without the the machine guns that the Nemo 3 has the Vulcans and um you know it's pretty damn legit you know sometimes when you see a raid trying to approach you like as fast as they can you just literally pop the transform and then you get out of there man you you you, you skedaddle out of that whole situation and you just yeah dude you're gonzo trying to get a nice shot over here general came to a wrong area right over there i am actually surprised my uh my large beam cannon actually hit the o but you know oh man it's just those uh thick thick bods man the nice thick bodies all right going over here boosting and you can use this mole suit pretty aggressively too and you know it's just uh it's really nice pretty swift stuff as a matter of fact now um as you can see the reload was taking a long time right there now um if you can literally drop the reload from two seconds oh man that literally makes a difference and you just literally popping uh lasers after lasers and they're gonna be like that's a lot of lasers you know what i mean and it's just it's real nice stuff that's what i love about this thing
and um, I believe in the last um, clip of this uh, video I have a really really good match with this mobile suit and you know this mobile suit is capable of getting first I am a hundred percent sure this mobile suit is capable of getting first I put basically the wrong parts throughout a lot of these videos and um, at the very end of the video I was just like you know after all these matches I'm like hmm, maybe I could shoot the the beams a little bit more faster with this thing and you know that's that's kind of a thing right there which is kind of a good thing right there you can also do the reload with a uh, range boost in the same time and um, you know you can do some pretty damn considerable damage with this thing this method is Kai man oof this is one of those uh, special K mobile suits where you just like okay Real nice. Very, very, very aggressive. Right over here, I was messing up a lot of my shots. And you know, just keep in track, you know, if you add every single shot or every single damage shot onto this um, mobile suit that you throw onto uh, enemy players, especially on generals, if you literally land every single shot with this uh, mobile suit, you can throw in like a uh, 4,000, 5,000, and another 4,000, then another 5,000, and um, you know, if you literally add all that up it's almost like 18,000 and then if you add another 18,000 you know you can do some you know really nice adding numbers and yeah it does a really nice uh, damage output at the very end of the match and um you know I believe using this mole suit in uh, in clan matches would actually be a a really good a viable viable option a viable option in trying to keep a really nice decent uh distance and staying in a group of your your allies and your whole formation and sticking with the whole formation and if you can land your shots in this whole formation it could be um pretty damn devastating you know sometimes you could be the the one dude who could just like literally land all the shots and the dude the dudes in your your team just can't can't land any but you know you you're able to do substantial staggers with this mole suit look at this nice crazy staggers getting real nice aggressive with this thing right there we had a huge chunk of uh, health taken off that dude's life and um you know it's just uh it's one of those mole suits that's just like whoa man it, it feels it feels nice and juicy man I like it and it's really like one of those mole suits that just give it a real nice uh, smooth ride and um you know the things that this mobile suit basically comes equipped with is like a beam rifle it comes with the high mega cannon which is really nice it comes with the the flash grenade but you have to be very very uh slick you gotta be slicky ricky with it man and um you have your beam sword which is really savage stuff but um it well it's not savage it does a little bit of damage but it's just enough to keep a, a a opponent at bay basically you know I'm not gonna say it's like the amazing like uh, this and that it's just the one sw but yeah it's just like the the swing you know it's just like the one swing like the the methus and um yeah it's not amazing you know it's just like uh it's good enough 
you know, to do its job. Which I'm not gonna argue with that. Well, I, I think I should argue with the kind of the the whole sort of sadness of uh, supports, you know, the sad supports where they just only get one melee swing. Some supports actually get two melee swings, and um. Man, I love it when supports get two melee swings. You could do some really, really nasty stuff. But, um... Man. Sometimes they're not, not so good supports doing the double melee swing. But yeah, this is a very, very effective support. It does a pretty damn neat job, you know, it just does its, it does its thingy, man. Yeah, if I wanted to rate this mobile suit, I'd probably give it a, a 10 out of 10. And, um, you know, giving it a 10 out of 10 is a really, really good, you know, rating for this sort of mobile suit, especially for a support. It just, I'm just dropping numbers down because of the, the high beam cannon, um, you know, another reason is that it doesn't have another weapon, like another side weapon to do um, finishers like emergency finishers and that's that's where this mole suit lacks in there could be a lot of moments when you're just using this mole suit and um, you you can't literally do a finisher off the dude because your your whole combo of this uh, mole suit is basically reloading right over here messed up my shot this keyblade is doing his beautiful work good stuff is going in there look at this uh vertex man the vertex is coming in there like the digging those blades and uh, the guys right here and um you know another problem is that you know it's just it's more one of those supports that don't got those dodge rolls it's just you know it's just it don't got its uh double swing you know, you just have to always, always rely on this combo over and over and over again. And, um, you know, sometimes when you rely on this combo over and over again, it, it can get tiring. But, you know, if you can do, like, some really, really nice stuff with the, the whole sort of combo, it's just nice. And um, at this whole specific uh, situation, a lot of the enemy players are basically, um, you know, they're they're focusing on a lot of our team members. And I was doing a absolutely good job, but I actually failed this match because of, um, you know, like those sort of problems that this supports basically, you know, have problems with going after this. Uh, support right here You're going in for the nice melee again and the keyblade came in there with the the nice hack and slash which is really nice nice hack and slash attack right there and um you know every single time I'd be using this mole suit you know this newly used mole suit I'm just like why why <laughs> this mole suit's got some really really uh good uh interesting aspects you know body aspects man But the, the whole flight mechanic of this mole suit 
is um, pretty good. It's very, very good if you're trying to get out of uh, situations. I'm not good at um, the flight com um, mechanics in uh, getting out of situations. Some players are. But when you get out of situations or you're trying to charge a dude with this uh, mobile suit, that's where it just feels really, really nice. And man, it feels real nice when you charge forward with the high beam mega cannon when you charge forward you can either charge the whole beam or you can do a you know I believe it does a triple triple beam attack with the the beam that it basically carries when you're in flight mode and um, you know you can use your standard beam rifle that's if it's fully charged but um you know this is where um, all hell breaks loose and um, you know it's just being an ace is just a uh, gets a big wanted poster on my my forehead <laughs> I just like how I said advance and the dude just came in there and then he just got shot I expected him to advance on the right flank, but he just like he came into the wrong, wrong bad scenario right there, and it was just like wow. And um, this Zeta that was trying to chase after me did a really good job. I was trying to use the the crazy um, surprise attack with this, but you know it's just. I messed up right there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I should have known, man. I should have known. I I was labeled, man. I had big labels when I'm in flight mode. <laughs> so yeah, it's just uh that was a bad idea. And um, right over here, it was so, I, I got so, um, I, I was trying to get a nice, nice uh, shot right here. I was just so, I didn't understand where my shot's going on over here. And I shot like on the left of that side. And I was like, oh my god, that was just really, really bad. And um, you know, this is where those um pawns where this mole suit lies. When you get outnumbered and then your your guns are reloading or it's getting set up for a nice engagement, man, it's just it's so hard to fight back in certain moments. But um if there were a group of enemies that were basically clustered together, what would have been good if I could have thrown a flashbang so it would have you know affected the whole group of guys but you know something like that is just a it's rare but you know stuff like that happens sometimes you can literally throw a flash on the wall and it can actually affect a enemy opponent and um, sometimes you could throw a flash on you know your dude <laughs> and your dude gets uh, staggered and the opponent gets staggered you know if it's a very desperate s sort of a scenario it's like well, why did you flash me man why 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 did you do that but hey that's just basically kind of a you know sort of a normal match it wasn't a nothing too spectacular, but this match was a uh, pretty pretty impressive. It was really nice. What's a really good technique with this mole suit, I just uh, realized, is that if you wanted to, you can um, go to transform mode and um, try to rush 
the the generals from behind. So like if you literally rush the general from behind, you can literally stagger a group of dudes when your your guys are trying to approach the front lines with this thing, which is really nice stuff. Right there, my damn thing failed. Oh well. Trying to land a nice shot. Wiggled my crosshair, the left and right technique of aiming crosshairs. Shot through the pull post right there, good stuff. And I'm trying to go after this uh, Gabathly because I want that guy out. I want that guy out of the game because that dude, like one of those, if those things are just laying around throughout the whole match, man, they could do some really, really dangerous stuff onto um, a lot of a group of guys right there. Going up, trying to get aggressive with this thing. Trying to shoot my shots at that uh, raid, showing no fear against this raid when I'm using this uh, support. Going over here, trying to flash, missing my shots, missing my shots, and my team member was able to launch a nice, juicy shot on that. I was hoping that dude was literally laying around so I can give a really nice. Uh, thrust of beam just tickles uh, nipples with my beam and um, when you're using this mobile suit you know it's really nice it kind of feels a kind of a good vibe with uh, knowing that it's kind of like a jet but um with the uh, problem and what I mean problem is when you go in transform mode, you cannot um you cannot dodge roll in um transform mode. You know you can't do any sort of pitch maneuver with the the dodge roll, so you know that can be a very very uh painful problem with this mobile suit. But you know I was right here, I was waiting for a good good shot on some dudes to come out right over here going after this guy over there miss my shot finished off a dude right there and um you know it's just it takes chunks and chunks of uh, players and when you take chunks and chunks of players with this mobile suit man this thing is just it's it's wicked Trying to get a nice elevation over the Shiki. Whole team is chasing after this uh, raid. Showing no fear. There we go. Going after the raid. And the thing is, is that when you're going up a raid, one mistake one mistake you do with the support it can cost you you know what I mean and um during that whole moment I made a lot of mistakes my team members made a lot of mistakes we could have had that um, raid knocked out really fast really quick and you know that's the thing about raids you know it's like a 
a big chunk of a uh, fudge cake that everybody is like, oh, I want a piece of it, you know what I mean? I'm trying to do a nice approach on the enemy ace. Beautiful target for this mobile suit to go after. Blind shot right there, beautiful. Stop the enemy ace from doing a substantial attack on our guys. Messing up a lot of my shots. And that's the thing, when you use this mole suit, you have to get your shots on the dot. If you don't get your shots on the dot, then you are going to have a very, very hard time. <laughs> And as you can see, I did not have any other sort of weapon to do a nice finisher on that guy. I'm trying to fly out of this whole situation using this boost, try to get under this rock. Trying to maneuver out of the whole situation. Got shot, knocked out. But yeah, met this guy. It's definitely like a. It's definitely 10 out of 10. You know, it's just one of those molasses that just. It, it wrecks. And it shreks. You know? And as long as it can shrek, we're talking. able to do a nice finisher on that guy using a beam cannon and um, you know that's one of the other problems with this mole suit you can't pivot the the cannon like literally down so it's kind of got like that a uh, T T34 uh, gun depression so yeah yeah that's a big slong right there but yeah that's about it see y'all later take care enjoy your day